in this lecture i will explain zener regulator circuit this is very important lecture and if you are expecting numerical problems from zener diode then you must try to understand all the points explained in this lecture i will start with voltage regulator what is a voltage regulator a voltage regulator is a combination of elements designed to ensure that the output voltage of a supply remains constant we design the voltage regulator by using different elements to ensure that the output voltage of a supply remains constant i will use zener diode as a voltage regulator and i have already explained working of zener diode in forward bias and reverse bias condition in case of forward bias condition zener diode is similar to the normal diode this is how the characteristics looks in forward bias condition and a zener diode zener diode is similar to the normal diode in forward bias condition and in case of reverse bias condition in case of reverse bias condition zener diode is different from normal diode because breakdown is achieved much earlier in case of zener diode if you want to use zener diode as a voltage regulator then you must reverse bias it and also achieve the breakdown we have two we have two reasons in the reverse bias condition the first reason is when there is no breakdown and when this happens the zener diode is off and when there is breakdown the zener diode is on so it becomes important to apply reverse bias potential greater than the zener voltage reverse bias potential greater than the zener voltage vz the voltage across the zener diode must be greater than or equal to the zener voltage this is very important condition to use zener diode as a voltage regulator now we will try to understand basic zener regulator circuit first i will make the circuit then we will analyze it this resistance is r and it is called as current limiting resistance we have load resistance denoted by r l this is the load resistance and uh, we will connect zener diode across this load resistance the input voltage the input voltage is vi vi is the input voltage plus minus and i will connect i will connect zener diode here across the load resistance vz is the zener potential or zener voltage pzm is the maximum power dissipation capability of the zener diode connected across the load resistance depending on vi and rl we have four cases in first case in first case vi the input voltage and rl the load resistance are fixed this is the first case in second case vi is fixed and rl and rl is variable in the third case vi is variable and rl is fixed and in the last case in the fourth case vi and rl both are variable these are the four cases we have to study and uh, you will have numerical problem based on this four cases only in this lecture i will explain the first case when vi the input voltage and load resistance are fixed whenever we have to solve any circuit having the zener diode the first thing we have to do is to determine the state of zener diode is to determine the state of zener diode whether it is on or off and i will use thevenin's theorem to calculate the voltage across the diode and after this we will compare the obtained voltage with the zener voltage because i have already explained you zener diode will be on when voltage across the zener diode is greater than or equal to the zener voltage so we have to use thevenin's theorem to obtain the voltage across the diode i will first make the circuit i will remove the zener diode to obtain the voltage across the diode this is the load resistance this is the current limiting resistance 
vi is the input voltage and let's say let's say vl is the load voltage and vth is the voltage across the zener diode I is the current flowing through the circuit and by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law we can easily calculate the value of I VI minus drop across this resistance and drop across this resistance is equal to IR so we have I R minus drop across the load resistance and it is equal to IRL equal to 0 I will rearrange this equation and current I is equal to VI divided by R plus RL. So this is the current I and now we can easily calculate VTH. VTH, VTH is equal to VL and VL is equal to IRL. So finally we have VI RL divided by R plus RL. This is the value of voltage across the Zener diode. Now we have to compare this voltage we have to compare this Thevenin voltage with the Zener voltage mentioned in the question and there are two cases there are two cases in the first case if VTH is greater than or equal to VZ VZ the diode is on in the second case in the second case if VTH is less than VZ the diode is off in this case there will be breakdown and in this case there will be no breakdown and we will try to find out values of current and voltages in both the cases I will start with I will start with case 2 case 2 when diode is off we have open circuit in place of Zener diode so I will draw this circuit this is our current limiting resistance this resistance is used to limit the current after breakdown because once there is breakdown heavy current will flow through this circuit and this resistance will limit this current that's why we call it current limiting resistance then we have the load resistance load resistance is RL in place of Zener diode we have open circuit and the input voltage is VI voltage across load resistance is VL voltage across current limiting resistance is VR let's say current in this branch is IR current through the load is IL and current in this branch is IZ and we have to calculate these values IZ is equal to 0 because circuit is open IZ is equal to 0 PZ is the power dissipated by the Zener diode and it is equal to IZ VZ IZ is 0 so PZ is also equal to 0 now we will apply Kirchhoff's current law at this node and we have IR equal to IL plus IZ IZ is 0 so IR is equal to IL and we can easily calculate the values of IR and IL IR is equal to VI divided by R plus RL and this is also equal to IL and now by using the values of IR and IL we can calculate VR VR is equal to IR multiplied by R and VL is equal to IL multiplied by RL so this is what we have to do in case 2 now I will explain the first case in which Zener diode is on and we have to replace the Zener diode with its equivalent circuit and the equivalent circuit consists of a voltage source having the voltage equal to VZ I will quickly make the circuit this is resistance R the current limiting resistance this is the load resistance RL this is the input voltage VI VI plus minus this is RL and we have to replace the Zener diode with a voltage source having the voltage equal to VZ VL is the load voltage current in this branch is IL current in this branch is IZ and current in this branch is IR I will use Kirchhoff's current law at this node 
and we have i r equal to i l plus i z i will rearrange this and i z is equal to i r minus i l we have to find out values of i r and i l so that we have the value of i z i r i r is equal to v i minus v z divided by r by using the kvl we know value of v i v z and r given in the problem so we can easily calculate the value of i r i l i l is equal to v l by r l v l is equal to v z you can see v z and v l are same so i can write v z divided by r l is the value of i l we have v z and r l already given in the problem so i z is simply equal to v i minus v z divided by r minus v z divided by r l we can easily calculate all the currents in this circuit power dissipated by the diode pz is equal to iz vz so we have vi minus vz divided by r minus vz by rl multiplied by vz this is the value of pz and there is one very important point pz pz must be smaller than pzm pzm is the maximum power dissipation capability of the diode and pz must be smaller than pzm now i will solve one numerical problem and this problem will make things more concrete that we have learned in this example a zener diode network is given and we have to determine vl vr iz and pz this is the zener diode network input voltage is equal to 16 volts vi is equal to 16 volts 1 kilo ohm is the value of current limiting resistor r is equal to 1 kilo ohms 1.2 kilo ohms is the value of load resistance rl is equal to 1.2 kilo ohms vz is equal to 10 volts vz is equal to 10 volts and pzm is equal to 30 milli volts these are the values given to us and now we will move to the solution of this problem first thing we have to do is to find out state of the zener diode whether it is on or off and for this purpose we will try to obtain the voltage across the zener diode by using the thevenin's theorem this is 1.2 kilo ohms this is 1 kilo ohms we have to obtain vth the input voltage is equal to 16 volts i will use kirchhoff's voltage law and we have 16 minus let's say current is i 16 minus i multiplied by 1 kilo ohm minus i multiplied by 1.2 kilo ohms equal to 0 by using this equation we can easily calculate current i in this circuit and it is equal to 16 divided by 1 plus 1.2 this is equal to 16 divided by 2.2 when you divide this you will have 7.27 milliamps as the value of current i now we can easily calculate vth vth is equal to vl vl is the load voltage and it is equal to i multiplied by 1.2 kilo ohms i is equal to 7.27 milliamps 7.27 milliamps multiplied by 1.2 kilo ohms when you solve this you have 8.72 volts as the value of vth now we will compare vth and the zener voltage given in the problem zener voltage is equal to 10 volts and voltage across the zener diode is equal to 8.72 volts so vth is less than vz and when this happens the diode remains off you can see when this happens diode remains off and we have to deal with case 2 so i will make this circuit quickly and we'll try to find out all the currents and voltages in this circuit 1 kilo ohm is the value of current limiting resistor 
load resistance is 1.2 kilo ohms we have open circuit in place of diode because diode is off 16 volt is the value of input voltage we have to find different parameters in this circuit you can see the problem we have to calculate iz pz vr and vl vl is the voltage across the load resistance vr is the voltage across the current limiting resistance iz iz is the current in this branch pz is the power dissipated by the zener diode as you can see this branch is open iz is equal to zero and also pz is equal to zero let's say current in this branch is ir current in this branch is il ir is equal to il by using the kirchhoff's current law and vr is equal to ir multiplied by one kilo ohms in order to calculate the value of vr we must find out value of ir so we will find ir and it is equal to 16 volts divided by 1 plus 1 1.2 kilo ohms and it is equal to 16 divided by 2.2 kilo ohms and we have the current equal to 7.27 milli amps now we can calculate vr vr is equal to 7.27 milli amps multiplied by 1 kilo ohms and it is equal to 7.27 volts now we will calculate we will calculate vl vl is equal to il current in this branch multiplied by 1.2 kilo ohms of resistance il is same as ir so we have 7.27 milliamps multiplied by 1.2 kilo ohms when you solve this you have 8.64 volts as the value of vl so these are the answers for the question and i have one homework problem for you i have one homework problem for you you have to solve the same problem but now the load resistance is not equal to 1.2 kilo ohms but it is equal to 3 kilo ohms you have to find all these values when load resistance is equal to 3 kilo ohms this is homework for you once you have your answers posted in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one